Top story tonight, the domestic abuse allegations against Congressman Keith Ellison and how that could impact tomorrow's primary election. Ellison is considered a front runner in the race for Minnesota Attorney General. The misconduct allegations come from Ellison's ex-girlfriend. Our chief political reporter John Croman has more on what we've learned today. For the short term, the Ellison campaign is just going to be quiet about it and try and de-emphasize it. What we know, Karen Monahan, an organizer for the Sierra Club, was in a relationship with Keith Ellison for several years. They parted ways in 2016, and she began hinting on Twitter of abuse. For example, I will be breaking my silence and share my story about a person in power I endured narcissistic abuse from. Then Saturday, Monahan's son went on Facebook with an allegation that he saw a video on his mother's computer of Ellison physically confronting his mother. Sunday, Ellison denied it by saying, this video does not exist because I never behaved in this way and any characterization otherwise is false. Well, I think the key for the issue going forward is what the evidence is. And is there more evidence from more women? Is there uh, more direct, immediate evidence? The story is now getting national play, making headlines in major publications across the country, but the alleged video hasn't surfaced. Well, I think one of the key differences from the Franken situation and the Ellison situation is there was a photograph, undoctored photograph of Al Franken doing inappropriate things to a sleeping woman. Keith Ellison's the perceived front runner in the race for attorney general, but he faces serious opponents, including state rep Deb Hillstrom, Minneapolis attorney Matt Pelican, former Commerce Commissioner Mike Rothman, and former Ramsey County attorney Tom Foley. One thing to note, though, is that over 100,000 people have already voted in the primary, and that's at least a quarter of probably the turnout. Those votes are cast. They're locked in. Uh, Karen Monahan hasn't returned our text today, but she's been on social media reposting national news items about this case. She also told Minnesota Public Radio she won't release the videotape referenced by her son. So about the only new real development is that the Ellison campaign today said yes, they did meet the eve before he uh, filed to run for attorney general, mm -hmm. um, but it was about a different issue. But at that meeting, she brought up this alleged videotape. Well, it's interesting that he denied it and she said she won't release it. And we don't know if she'll maybe just show it to a reporter or two reporters or if no one will ever yeah. see. There could be a lot of reasons why she's not releasing mm -hmm. the tape, but at the same time, it, it would do a lot toward kind of helping her in that, that whole debate. Right. All right. Thank you, John.